Ouija Origin of Evil wasn't scary, but it was definitely fascinating. So originally I wasn't going to see Ouija Origin of Evil, which is the prequel to the 2014 film Ouija, but I saw quite a lot of really positive reviews about it and I thought, you know what, I actually want to give it a chance. And I will say that it was actually really thoroughly enjoyable, I would recommend it, but it wasn't scary, so it depends on what you want from it. Now I say it wasn't scary, I suppose it depends on what you find scary. There were a few jump scares that did make me jump, but... Apart from that, it was more just really interesting to see how the story unfolds. The possession, if you like, is all done through a little girl called Doris. And if you've seen my reviews before, you may know that I love when children are involved in horror films. I just love that contrast of innocence and, and demonic. And it, it works so well in this film. She's a, a brilliant little actress as well. And obviously it centres around the Ouija board and that's how they initially contact her. And then they start doing all weird crazy things and it is a lot of fun. Now I'm not going to say that it's 100% unique to every other Ouija board based film that I've seen but I think it is a little bit different. It's also set in the 60s as opposed to present day and I don't think to my knowledge I've ever seen a Ouija board based film that's set in the past so it's a little bit different in attitudes are you know this is a time when Ouija boards were still sold as board games for fun so it is a little bit of a different attitude there but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the story developed really well. Uh, it, it was all set mostly in this one house, but there were a few other scenes at the school and things. And I found that that was handled really well as well, because certain films that are basically in one setting can get a little bit monotonous and you get a bit tired of seeing the same things, but this was really good. We were fed information, I felt, at the right moments. And it was graphic enough to be a little bit kind of gory but not so much that they were using the visual aids to take away from the strength of the story. So yeah, I did enjoy it. Certainly Ouija Origin of Evil is a million times better than the 2014 film, which is not a massive statement because the 2014 film is appalling. But this film I did recommend, I do recommend I thoroughly enjoy it. Yes, to view it as a prequel to the other film is interesting, but for me it's more of just a film in its own entity because it's just a million miles apart. If you see it, let me know what you think and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.